When you think of eating frog legs, chances are you think of French cuisine. No? But many different cultures enjoyed these amphibians' legs before the French got involved. Mais non. Why do people love frog legs so much? And what does it have to do with Stonehenge, French monks, a booming industry, and diminishing populations? Stay tuned to find out all about this worldwide delicacy. Even though they may not have started the craze, there's no denying that people in France love eating frog legs. About 74 million tons per year, to be exact. Hey, the weirder the meat, the better the taste. They've earned their reputation as connoisseurs of this delicacy. Boom. In 2013, archaeologists discovered fragments of bones belonging to a 10,000-year-old amphibian resembling a frog in Wiltshire, England, near Stonehenge. Its bones had clearly been cooked. There are also records of people eating frogs' legs in the first century in China, long before the dish made it to France. The earliest frog fossils from France only date back to the 12th century. It was mostly monks who ate frogs' legs. The Catholic Church thought the monks were getting a little too heavy and ordered them to eat a meatless diet. The monks found a way around the strict vegetarian diet when they were told they could eat fish. Amphibians were considered fish then, so the monks began eating frogs' legs. Diner's taste for frogs' legs spread throughout the world and hasn't diminished. Yeah, it was amazing. It's reported that 100 to 400 million frog legs are shipped globally every year. In Turkey, harvesting frog legs is a $4 million a year industry. Turks catch and ship so many frogs that the local frog population is on its way to becoming extinct. According to a 2020 study, around 41% of the almost 7,000 species of frogs could become endangered. Pollution, pesticides, and draining ponds to make cattle troughs have contributed to the frogs' declining populations. In 1980, France made it illegal to harvest frogs commercially. But while that sounds like a step forward for the frogs of planet Earth, France now imports frogs from Indonesia. So it's not a perfect solution. Why are people so crazy for this delicacy anyway? Frogs' legs are a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, protein, potassium, and vitamin A. They're considered a healthy alternative to red meat and chicken, as they're very lean and low in calories. The taste is described as a mild flavor somewhere between chicken and fish. And when you add some spices, their flavor sings. Oh, just like that. You can find frog's legs served in unique and tasty ways. In France, they're grilled or deep fried with garlic and ginger, or sauteed with butter and lemon. In China, they're a staple part of Cantonese cuisine and stir fried or added to a rich congee. Indonesians make frog's legs into kodok soup with fermented soybean sauce. And in Vietnam, they're served in butter. butter. If you're in the U.S., head to the southern states. There, frog legs are marinated in buttermilk, battered, and deep fried. As is everything else, and as it should be. If you want a snack on frog's legs, they're served in many countries. But to help ensure that there are frog legs for centuries to come, it's probably best to save them for a very special treat. If you're in the mood for something a little bigger, check out our next video about what it's like to eat alligator, next on Origins of Food.